Aries, how are you today? Um, I just want to, I'm so sorry that it's taken me all this time to get this out, but what we're going to do is start with, um, we're going to get the end of this month, the last few days of this month done, and then I will jump right in to getting July out so you guys will have readings for July. So how have you guys been doing this Mercury retrograde Aries? I hope you have been doing okay and moving forward. I know that the fire signs have been a bit affected by this lovely Mercury retrograde. I am Leo Sun um, and Moon, so I have been pre hit pretty hard. So Leo Sun, Moon, and Midheaven. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Too much great energy. <laughs> but anyway, let's let's go ahead and start to get your um your reading out. Let's get the overall energy. For the rest of June for Aries, please. Thank you and thank you. All right, we have breathe. You guys, I that's kind of funny because I was feeling like I could not breathe right now. And I think when I first tried to do your reading, um, that's the card that came out. Because you guys haven't really breathe like just stop and breathe okay we have why and that possibly could be at the, the, the your energy right now asking why why is this happening what's going on blah 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 why right and i think what it is is maybe you guys are trying to heal something there has been some sort of cycles that have been going on as of late and you're trying to figure out why it's going on. Spirit's asking you to simply breathe and bring yourself together. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to answer this. We're just going to give you the general reading for breathe because this is a general for the end of the month. I will try to work in different schedules for like love and whatnot. But right now, let me just, just bear with me while I try to just start a schedule. Okay. All right. Let's see. 29 patience waiting going slowly wellness meditation and trust okay so patience in all things is what is called for right now what you what do you need to do when you're in a rush slow down meditate and trust breathe and repeat humans cannot exist without drawing breath now is the time to allow the life-giving element of air to replenish your body your being your very essence stop to smell the roses breathe in the sunlight and release the darkness and miracles will appear so you guys i'm getting you need to stop trying to make things happen okay um when i started your reading i did feel a bit of anxiety so some of you could be going through some just some anxiety because you could feel like such as things like are falling apart and you're asking why are why are things the way they are right now? Because I why can't I control anything? I'm used to being in control. Aries, I know you guys. You guys are just like this is how things are going to happen. I have a sister who's an Aries, and my father is an, my father and my middle son are all Aries, and I can say that control is a big thing for them. So that that's why you could be asking yourselves these questions. Oops. <laughs> all right, all right. So just breathe, Aries. There's a reason why things are the way they are. But let's go ahead and get some cards right now. Let's tell me about this. Breathe, please. Thank you. Messages. You guys are going to have messages coming in with the bird. Or you guys could have had a message come in. There's something that you learned that you I gave you a little bit of anxiety. And Spirit is telling you these things. Uh, you need to breathe when it comes to whatever this was about. Oh my gosh, birds are messengers. Okay, you know, me and this thing just want to fight, all right? <laughs> birds are messengers. So whatever it is that you learned, just know, have faith, okay? Have faith. Know that you are protected and you possibly need to go out and ground, okay? Go out and ground. Sorry, guys. Okay. Let's find out what's going on. Present. 
application. You guys have a really bad bout of anxiety going on. It's insane. You, let me see. Some of you could be make, wanting to make yourself vulnerable. Oh, I just got real dizzy. Yeah, definitely. Some of you can be wanting to make yourselves vulnerable to a situation, but you're holding back. Even though it's your truth, like you recently could have spoken your truth, um, and, but you're being far too logical and you're not willing to open up emotionally. Right now, there is some sort of healing that is not being allowed to happen. I'm going to find out what this is in one moment. King of Swords, please. All right, okay. Okay, so what's throwing you for a loop right now? There could be like some sort of shift in energy that you've noticed since you're, you're kind of sensitive to, which is fine, you know, because we all go through that. We have like a, you know, just a bout of energy with this. There's there's something that's coming to a close. There's a lot of endings happening right now. I say the close because we have the 10 of, uh, the 10 here is a 10. 10 or 10s, 10s are endings and there's a powerful energy shift. And I'm getting because you have seen something Something more clearly, you've been able to uh, cut something out, all right. And and but I'm I'm or you're you've been able to speak your truth, but I'm getting that you're possibly feeling a, a, having a very difficult time closing or closing this cycle or healing from this because you're just you're refusing to make yourself vulnerable. Tell me about tell me, tell me more about the temperance because you know that there's healing that needs to be done here with the temperance card in the reverse, but it's just not happening. Tell me about temperance, please. In the present energy, yeah, you're not resting. We got the four of remember that breathe card and resting and meditation. We got the four of swords in the reverse here. Yeah, ten another a ten of swords. Yep permit okay yeah you're in your head a lot okay because with the 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 swords are like communication or self-communication thoughts and words and whatnot with the ten with the four of swords in the reverse i'm seeing that you are just constantly up in your head you know um refusing to rest refusing to let yourself heal you're you're reliving this ending this very painful ending i mean look at this each one of those swords is some sort of hurt and and cuz cuz you're you're you've gone within so you're constantly overthinking and not resting not allowing yourself to heal though you know the clear solution to this is to take your little light okay and then walk away from all of this darkness in the back you've you you have you see it clearly you see the path out of this hurt and out of this pain very clearly which has been stated here by the winged seer and you've done the cutting out but you're constantly really living it i see in the future that something is going to allow this is going to bring you some sort of healing and i get more like it's going to be like family i heard ohana you know that ohana means family from Lilo and stitch i know i'm a weirdo but i do see that this is going to bring you some sort of healing finally you're finally going to, I'm going to ask the cards to tell us about this judgment. Tell us about judgment. Thank you. Tell us about judgment. 
yeah, we're going to get over this confusion and there's finally going to be some freaking happiness, okay? We got the Knight of Swords in the reverse. You're no longer going to be moving uh, towards. You're just going to give up on something. And hold on, wait a minute. Knight of Swords. Let me pause something, guys. My auntie is here. Okay, so sorry about that, guys. I had to um, go take care of a visitor. My auntie was visiting. <clears throat> but as I was saying earlier, you guys have to um, breathe through this, okay? Because there is healing coming. But right now, you guys are reliving over and over and over again the trauma of the past, okay? With this energy right here, right? When you that's that's how you are not letting yourself heal so in the very near future i do see a resolution that's going to bring healing and this it's i, I don't it's not going to be a walk in the park for sure but it it, it will release you and there will be happiness however that happens because I see a, what I see is some words, possibly harsh words, because the Knight of Swords is not a kind communication. But what it will do is it will dispel any confusion um, that may be, um, that there still may be. And it's going to bring a load of clarity, which this, this that's what this healing is. So. It, the judgment could be reconciliation or it could be um, after some some harsh words have been said or it could very well be um, just an argument which dispels any com any confusion in the near future but either way it's going to hurt a little bit all right all right and with the knight of cups that just fell out with um when I was getting ready to shuffle, I feel that any there there are no more feelings here. There will be no more feelings here. Okay. All right, but be careful about being the scorned Queen of Wands. She is not pretty. All right, she is not pretty. Oh wait a minute. Oh okay. There's going to be a truth about, um, for some of you, this is a third party. Some of you, there's a third party. Like I said, this is general. It's not romantic. But for some of you, there's a third party, another person in here that uh, uh, the truth is going to be revealed. It broke up some sort of foundation. Um, I have a feeling that, uh, yeah, this was held secret for a long time. Yeah, definitely. This was a secret that was held for a long time. So there is going to be a truth. And that's going to come forward. For some of you, it's going to be about another person. Um, others of you, whatever it is, it's just a lot of truth is going to come out, allow you and allow you to finally heal within the next few days. For some of you, you've already experienced this, but this is the energy that I'm getting for till till Jan July. All right, guys, I love you so much. Let me get me pull. We're going to pull some cards of advice from Spirit. Oh, and we're also, let's, before we pull cards of advice, I want to pull a card to see what it is that you need to work on. What is, could possibly hold you back from this healing. Let's make sure we call these cards up, right? What is it we need to work on? What could possibly be the hiccup here? Though I kind of see that, you know, you being in your head, but let's just go ahead and see what is the bottom of this. For my Aries. Wow. Okay. Masquerade. There's going to someone is wearing a mask. This could be you wearing a mask or someone else wearing a mask that is around you. Um, they are possibly hiding some sort of anger. Um, or you are hiding. Yeah. Okay, definitely. Okay, so this is anger and change and calling the storm. So and and yeah, becoming vulnerable. So I what I'm getting is this mask is covering up 
this hurt. You're wearing a mask right now. It's covering up a lot of um, a lot of anger and in, in your bonds, you, you, cause you definitely feel trapped in this energy, the energy of the hermit and the 10 of swords and the four of swords in the reverse, right? It's spirit. It's, it's time for you to call in the storm. And I think the reason that you don't want to take off the mask is because you are afraid of what lies behind it and making yourself completely vulnerable with the naked before the stars card. Okay. Once again, we are running into, you know, the, the spirit, because this is in the reverse, so the colorless angel, the colorless angel came up in the Taurus reading. I do believe it came up in the reading that would not post for you um, in the with the other Aries reading that I had that would not post you just being okay with being quiet and being numb and just gray. And here uh, I'm seeing spirit saying, let go of this energy, let go of being invisible. Okay. All right. Well, that's, that's what's holding you back right now is your mask. Um, we don't even really need to pull advice right now for that because of the fact that, that all of that came out, but I love you guys so much. Do try to free yourself from this. Cause I, I, it's like a big giant wall of just pain that you don't want to feel. This will release you once you finally decide to speak your truth. And let and it will stop reliving. You know, you you have to stop being numb here in all of this energy to allow yourself to heal. You need to have some patience with yourself and the situation. Breathe a lot because we cannot control everything, and I think that's part of the problem here. Is you want control the situation and you, cause you want things to happen how you want them to happen. But sometimes you have to release the control, take off the mask. So that way you can in fact heal. You can't control everything Aries. Okay. I love you guys so much. Kisses and toodles. I will see you guys in the next video.